other postmodernist philosophy. Nazis plugged into him, but I think probably uh, incorrectly, though he, he, he had some weird ideas. The sister was a fascist, and she controlled the last 10 years of his life when he had syphilis, and she kind of uh, marketed him as a kind of Nazi prophet. But when you read him, he's uh, very much against Nazism, actually. Uh, yeah, but um, he believed that the artist should create, the artist should be the, the, the terminator of the, the modern society. You have to create your own meaning. He's the one who proclaimed the philosophy that God is dead and so on. He wrote a book called Genealogy of Morals, and I think that's what Florence has been reading here. A lot of writers in the, at the end of the 19th, beginning of the 20th century were reading Nietzsche, uh, particularly people like, uh, how many have read, or seen the movie or read the book Zorba the Greek? Well, the Greek writer, Katsunzakis, or you, there was a Lebanese writer who wrote a book that was very popular for a period of time called The Prophet. Still gets around Khalil Gibran, and uh, he was doing a Lebanese prophet. Nietzsche wanted to do a, 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 an Aryan prophet as opposed to a Semitic prophet, so he wrote a book called Thus Spake Zarathustra. Well, I'm sure Lawrence has been reading all that, particularly Joyce, the famous Irish author, totally Nietzschean writer and writing everything under the influence of Nietzsche, Lawrence to some extent too. Uh, all these people had, uh, had plugged into Nietzsche, and this is an example here, a face not deadened by morals. It was the, genera the, 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 the development of morality, calling things good and evil, that for him, in some ways, causes some of this uh, dislocation and um, you know calling the Native American a red savage or something which comes out of moral thinking you're superior type thing uh, that he feels the way that, that's, the, that's the philosophy lurking behind here in any case this is a pre-moral person he, he's just a natural person. He grins quietly and talks very subdued. You see, this is actually a philosophy, not a philosophy book as such, but a, a religious tract. And you don't realize it until you get halfway through it. Again, why I'm reading it. I, don't, I should have two periods for it, but I'm trying to get something out of it today. He glanced at us from the corner of his eyes, ducks, wiped his mouth on the back of his hand, and is gone, clambering with hair and eggs on a lean pony, swirling, wrapping away the neat little powder hoops under the ramparts away to the open. He's the fawn, escaping out of the city precincts, far more shy and evanescent than any Christian virgin. You cannot hard-boil him. He was worried about the, uh, the hard-boiled women he was meeting in the modern society, the women who have to make a living. I know that in feminism we want to do this, but Lawrence was, was frightened of some extent by the fact that they were getting too hard. He's got sort of um, some very good poetry on this. His poetry is really good. And uh, he's already seen it in the 1920s. And um, he, he wants to go back to a time when uh, the people are ruled by, I don't know how he'll put it, we, 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 we'll hear the cosmos as he puts it. Uh, it was an old time. You don't see this form face much anymore. Rather common in the South, but now you'll hardly see these men um, with unconscious, ungrimacing form face. That would be also the, um, the gamekeeper who seduces Lady Chatterley in the novel that I mentioned. They were all apparently killed in the, in the last war, the First World War. They would be sure not to survive such a war. These men would not survive a war mechanized with gassing and uh, you know, uh, trench warfare and machine guns and uh, brutal charges and the total you know, inhumanity of such a war as that. They would be sure not to survive that war. Anyway, the last one I knew, a handsome fellow of his own age, 40 and a bit, is going a bit odd and morose, crushed between war memories that have revived and remorses. And here's the other thing, though. Sorry, you women in the class, don't be too put off by this. Go ahead, women put. In other words, this this over this over aggressiveness that he's beginning to see is frightening. 
Probably when I go south again, he will have disappeared. They can't survive these fawn faced men with their pure outlines and their strange, non moral calm. There's a description, if you like, of what he considers this perfect pre Christian man or being who is pure. He, 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 he's, um, he has this strange, non moral calm. Very well, very well described. Only the deflowered faces survive. 